In this video, I'll be discussing five dead matter features that no one is talking about. This is primarily because they're from older development blogs and they therefore have flown under the radar. However, I went through all development blogs from 1 to 11 and here's the five coolest features that everyone's forgotten about. So let's get into it. Number one, locations will vary on different servers. The dead matter map is modular, meaning that on each server locations will differ on the map. A police station may be situated in the middle of the map on one server, turning it into a contentious spot, while on another it might be right at the edge, giving the higher geared players in that area the edge. As well as this, important buildings will still react to the world no matter where they are on the map. A power station is going to be an important strategic spot, whether it's at the bottom of a valley or further up the mountain. Number 2. Smart Zombies The zombies in Dead Matter do not use the traditional horde AI that is prevalent in many games, where zombies will form a mass of bodies and attempt to follow you in a straight line. In Dead Matter, groups of zombies will split up in order to surround you, and if you are holed up in a building, they will also surround that building, slowly cutting off all escape routes. As well as this, zombies can climb over waist high and shoulder high obstacles, such as cars or low walls, meaning that you can't exploit the zombie AI as easily as you can in other games. Although the high ground is still going to be important, it doesn't mean that you don't need to constantly watch your back. Number 3. Alarms can be triggered in buildings to attract zombies. If you've claimed a building as a safe house, then you can choose to trip the building's alarm, attracting all zombies in the surrounding area with the large noise. Although this is not a huge feature, I personally think it's very cool for a few reasons. First of all, if other players are attacking your base, then you can easily use the zombies as a last resort defence mechanism. As long as you can finish off the last of the zombies once the players outside have been attacked, then the attacking players are likely dead and lootable or else have run off to regroup, giving you some time. As well as this, if you have faith in your defensive capabilities, then you could trip the alarm to save a survivor in the surrounding area who is in trouble by attracting the zombies that are chasing them, which should lead to some cool in-game stories. Number 4. Construction signs can be edited. Whilst not seeming like an important feature at first, the ability to move construction signs around the world and change the text on them is going to be a huge feature when it comes to trading or rivalries between different groups of players. Players can request what they need or show what they have to sell by writing it on the signs, as well as offering recruitment of their squads to any players travelling through the area. Number 5. Modular Environment for Modders As I mentioned earlier, the Dead Matter environment is modular, but this doesn't just apply to key locations, it can apply to individual buildings, roads and potentially even the surrounding natural environment, although that last one has not been announced and is purely speculation on my part. This will allow modders to create their own unique maps for any number of players and set up their own servers. I personally think this is going to massively increase the lifetime of Dead Matter in terms of the community playing it, because there will always be new content coming out as a result of this, and so people will be playing it for longer. Anyways, those were my picks for 5 Dead Matter features no one's talking about. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing, as I'm still growing the channel. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve the quality of my videos or any topics you'd like to see me cover in the future, please comment them down below. I'll also be linking to my blog in the description where you can find exclusive interviews with game designers about their upcoming games. Thank you.